Today we're solving a geometry problem asking for how many squares in the figure. We will learn the simplest method of counting and we will also derive the formula that can be used in solving for even more complex figures. So let's begin with the counting method. First, I will remove the two squares inside the big square. So now we have a 4x4 four four grid. To have a more systematic way of counting the number of squares, we will categorize the squares according to their sizes. Let's begin with a 4x4 four four grid. How many 4x4 four four grid can we form? There's only one. Now let's count how many 3x3 three three squares. How many 3x3 three three squares do you think can we have? 1, 2, 3, and 4. There's four squares that are three by three in size. Now let's have two by two squares. How many two by two squares you think can we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine squares that are two by two in size. And finally, one by one squares. Obviously, in this shape, there are 16 squares that are one by one in size. So now if we add 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16, that is 30 squares total. Now let's put back the two smaller squares inside the big square. So there are two different squares that are 2 by 2 in size. Inside these 2 by 2 squares, how many 1 by 1 squares can we have all in all? 8 total, right? So if we will add all the squares, we will have a total of 40 squares in this figure. So that's the counting method. Now I will show you how to derive the formula to answer this question. If there are n by n grid, there are 1 square plus 2 square plus up to n square squares. This means that if we have a 1 by 1 grid, there is only one square, which is 1 to the second power. If we have 2 by 2 grid, using the formula, we will have 1 square plus 2 square. So we have 5 squares total. If it's a 3 by 3 grid, using the formula, we will have 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. Simplifying this, we have 1 plus 4 plus 9. So we have 14 squares total. If it's a 4x4 four four grid, there will be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. And that is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. So we have 30 squares total. Since we have 2 2x2 two two grid inside a square, we will do first 1 square plus 2 square and then we double it. So 1 square plus 2 square is the same thing as 1 plus 4, and then we double it so we have 10. So 10 plus the original 30, that gives us 40. Now let's solve a more challenging problem using the formula instead of counting. So first I will take out the 5 squares inside the big square. So here we have a 6 by 6 grid square. To find the number of squares in the 6 by 6 grid, we will have 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square plus 6 square. Simplifying this, we have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36. Adding these numbers together, 1 plus 4 is 5, 9 plus 16 is 25, 25 plus the 25 is 50, 50 plus the 5 is 55, plus the 36 is 91. So this means that this 6 by 6 grid will have 91 distinct squares total. Now let's put back the 5 smaller squares inside the big square. For each 2 by 2 grid, we will do 1 square plus 2 square. And since there's 5 of them, we will multiply this by 5. Simplifying this, we have 1 plus 4 times 5, which is equal to 25. 
And to get the final answer, we need to add 25 and the previous answer 91. 25 plus 91 is equal to 116. So there is a total of 116 squares in this figure. Thank you for watching and hope you had a great time. I also hope that you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel at Celso Academy. See you soon!